Hey there guys, so today I'm filming something that I've never really seen anyone do, but I'm sure it's been done. This is going to be my top 10 favorite lipsticks, and I mean, actually I have seen someone do this now that I think about it, but they didn't actually count down, they kind of just did it randomly. This I'm going from 10 to 1, so if you guys like that sort of countdown style, then just keep watching. Number 10 is this lipstick, which I got in my first Ipsy bag, which was the July Ipsy bag. This is the Tees Cosmetics Read My Lips lipstick in the color Killing Me Softly. This is not a winter color by any means, so I probably won't wear this until next spring or summer, but it is the most beautiful, orangey, pinky color, and oh my god, I never thought that I would like orange tones on my lips, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I know that it is quite expensive. I looked on their website to see how much it was, and it's really expensive. But if you guys can get your hands on this and you have a little bit of extra money to spend, I would definitely recommend this because it's really good. Number nine is this baby. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper in the color Cherry on Top. Now, I don't actually wear this that much, but... It's this really pretty hot pink sort of magenta color and it comes off a little bit more sheer on your lips. I just love the finish of it and I love, I just love this lipstick. It's a really pretty color and it's nice when you have sort of like a golden eye look going on in the summer. It's really pretty. Number eight is this. This is the Lord & Berry um, Nude Lip Liner. I love using this as a lip liner and I also love just completely filling my lips in with it. It's a gorgeous dark brown color, and I never thought that I would say that I liked dark browns on my lips, but I love this. I wore this almost every single day in the fall. The reason why it's only number eight is because I just, I can't wear it every day. It's too dark, but amazing. Need to go get it. Number seven is from Ipsy. This is the Balm Meet Matte Hues uh, Liquid Lipstick in Committed. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gorgeous it's like a brown nudie shade but it has a lo lot more pink in it than the lip liner as you can see but it, in the bottle it looks really pink on, on so many other people it looks really pink but on me it's like a dark brown and I love it I, it dries really quickly it does make your lips feel a little tight so if you're someone that doesn't like liquid lipsticks for that reason I wouldn't recommend this but I don't even care I really really love it. Number six is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Nude Pink. These are one dollar. I love this. It's a really nice light pink and I usually can't wear light pinks but this is so sheer that it just looks amazing on me. It's it just looks amazing on me. It looks so good. It has a really nice frosty finish. Now I know a lot of people don't like frosty finishes but I love frosty finishes. That's why I own so many of the NYC lipsticks because I love frosty finishes on my lips and I, that's why I love this. Number five is again another summer shade but I wore this pretty much every single day in the summer. This is the e.l.f. Uh, moisturizing lipstick in Pink Minx. I need to pick up more of these. Oh my god, I love this. It looks sort of like more brown, like a pretty nude in the tube. It smells really good too. It looks pretty nude, but when you put it on, it's a really nice bright pink and also, and it's matte, so that's nice. It's not completely matte. I'd say it's like a demi-matte because it's not, you can still kind of see that it's creamy. And then I learned this from watching Jam Beauty 89, this little thing, the little color swatch comes out and it's a lip gloss. So if you are not a big fan of that demi-matte finish and you want more of a glossy look, then you can just use the matching lip gloss, which when she told me that, I was like, oh my God, no way. And I, I paused the video, ran upstairs, checked the two that I had, and I was like, oh my God, this is a miracle. It's two in one. So if you guys never knew that, now you do. And this is number four. This is another e.l.f. lip product. This is the e.l.f. Extra Lip Gloss in the color Scott. I actually ordered this by accident. I meant to order the shade Brian, and now I'm so happy that I did it. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Young, Wild, and Polished, and Kathleen Lights too, they both recommended Brian and Joe, and so I bought Joe, and then I bought Scott by accident. I passed Joe on. I passed Joe on. He's gone. He's out of my life. Because... I pass it on to him on to him. Fucking lip gloss, Avery. It's not a human. 
<laughs> I passed it on to my friend Caroline because she looks good in pretty much everything. So I thought that would look better on her, but it was too orange for me. It's one of those sort of like brownie colors and I love it. I love this. It's almost too light for me, but not quite. And it's so beautiful. Number three is this NYC Expert Last Lipstick. I did a video on this. I on these lipsticks, this like line of lipsticks. So you guys know that I love them. They're amazing. This is the color Snow Cone. I feel like I've talked about this in like every single video. And again, gorgeous frosty finish. Beautiful pink. I love this. It's the perfect everyday color. And I've seen a lot of my favorite YouTubers actually come out with reviews on those. So they're gaining popularity. I know it's more popular. Number two, I just got this again. I just got it. Oh my god. This is what I have been searching for. This is my perfect nude. When I got this, I, I just about died on the floor. This is in the shade Tender Heart. This is the perfect nude for me. This one is nice because it's not too brown. It's not so dark that I can't really wear it every day because people will be like, wow, why do you have poop on your lips? It has like a little bit of orange in it, but not so much that like orange looks bad on me, but then it also has a little bit of pink in it. It has everything in it that I need and it's not too much of anything. I love this. Just... And then number one is this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in the color Rebel. I am so annoyed because I always hear people talking trash about this. and. Not this shade in particular, but these lip glosses, they're like, eh, they're okay, I don't really like them, they're not very good. I love this. I don't know if it's just the fact that I got this, like, limited edition one and this one's, like, some special magical formula, but I'm wearing this today. It is the perfect, again, these two are my perfect nudes, the perfect pinky nude. Like, if you're looking for one of those cute pink colors that all those girls wear and you're like, I can't pull that off because I can't wear bubblegum pink because I look so bad. Then, this, this, this is your best friend. I have also used a lot of this. I've used like one third of it and now I'm like, wow, it's really expensive. I can't repurchase this. I need to save it. I need to just cherish it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tell me if you want to see more like this uh, in the comments. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!